Right guys, so we've played shot number one, we've played shot number two. Shot number three, those tricky approach shots into the green. Those distances that are not a full swing for the majority of players. Anything between 50 yards and 90 yards. So here I've gone almost in the middle of that there. We've got 68 yards into the flag. We've got a little over 50 yards, 53 yards to carry onto the front portion of the green and then at the back is 80 yards so what you get is just like with the shot number two of the approach shot from the green you've got to make sure that you assess all your surroundings you've got to assess your line what is the line like the line is quite nice it's quite a tightish fairway as well which sometimes puts a lot of people off but if you understand how you want to put your ball position for the shot that you're trying to play then from that perspective whether it's a tight lie, a fluffy lie, a bare lie, it doesn't really matter. You're equipped to play the shot in hand. From there, you're looking at what's in front of you. So, have you got any hazards to go over? What's the approach to the green like? What's the green itself like? How far above or below, or is it quite level? Um, wind direction again plays a part when you're pitching into the wind you can be a little bit more aggressive because the wind's going to hold that up if you're pitching downwind which we are today you know then the control of the swing and the tempo of the swing becomes really really important because it's all about you flying the golf ball to that perfect landing spot because that then becomes really really important it's not about getting the ball to the target to the flag to the hole it's about sending the ball through the air and trying to land it in a certain area so your swing has got to replicate the feeling to fly the golf ball that far knowing that it is going to bounce it might not check up it might release a little bit so you've got to factor all those things in especially when it's downwind you'll have a tendency to want to release a little bit more than it'll check up more as you go into the wind so you've got to take all those things into consideration from there again you've got to measure it you know if you've practiced your short game and you know how much a particular length of swing will move the golf ball then measure what you've got so you know and you can commit to that shot what that length of swing may be and also what club selection then is required for that shot you know one swing with a 54 degree wedge might be different than with a 58 or with a 50 or with a pitching wedge because you're going to see different elevations due to the loft so you're going to see the ball react differently it's going to release more with lower lofts it's going to stop a little quicker with those higher lofts so making sure that you've taken all that into account by measuring makes you much easier for you then to commit to the shot you're going to play okay and then you can move on to your club selection from the shot that you're going to play so from here i'm a little bit downwind i'm not going to be trying to throw it up into the air as much as i normally would do because then the wind's going to start helping it's going to push it a little bit more so i'm going to control this ball flat a little bit so rather than play a 55 degree or a 60 degree wedge i'm going to play a gat wedge i'm going to play 50 degree wedge and i know as soon as i take the 50 degree wedge out that my length of swing is going to be a little bit shorter but my commitment to the turn in both directions still has to be there i've still got to make the body move a little bit in the back swing a little bit in the through swing so from down a target line view i'm going to be thinking about making a length of arm movement with a little back swing rotation and then leading a little bit with the hips and then the arms come through club there just going to brush the ground and i'm going to pitch it out there to the distance that i want to get it so once you've got assessed all your information, again answered all those questions, selected the type of shot you're going to play, whether it's a high one or a low one, knowing your distance, knowing that length of swing, commit to that shot. Make sure that you turn. It's finesse, it's not speed. So the turn is vitally important. It's not a fast action. We want to precisely move the golf ball. So lose the speed, think about your finesse, take your aim, So not too wide a stance, so it's maybe 10 to 12 inches, little pressure on the lead side, maybe 60%, committing to the turns, nice and controlled, remember it's finesse. So you can see nice contact, much lower trajectory, because of that lower trajectory it's downwind, releases on a little bit 
But again, you've executed the shot that was in your mind. It's going to help you score.